Yo, yo, welcome to Team Rad Titan, and today we are excited to bring you the House of Gog, Jack the Giant Panther piece. Um, this is the second in the line, and we're going to be running through it, going through all the goodies you get in the bag, talking about the box and the fittings and everything that goes together. So stay tuned to hear what we think, yeah? Keep watching. Yeah. Hey everyone, we're back, and as Gio was saying, we are looking at Jack the Giant Hunter from the House of Gog, the uh, Canadian company. So, do you want to say a little bit about Okay, this? so this, this character, this is the second in the line. There's only 400 edition size of this piece. Um, the first one being the Moonstone piece from the uh, heavy metal um, cover. Now, this piece, this is inspired by the artwork of um, Pascal Blanchet. We love saying his Blanchet. name here. Blanchet! And um, basically, what you get, you get a whole host of goodies here but a little bit of background on the character the cat character actually is more like almost like a predator you know like the jungle predator she she scavenges is a female she scavenges for trophies she's like a bounty hunter and it's she's got a really crazy good reputation so it's rumored that she is responsible for killing some of the baddest and meanest characters in the galaxy so, um, and she's hunting on the planet surface and she's looking for a prize trophy. Now, there's no hints to what that trophy may be, but I'm hoping it's some badass monster that I, I can have. Yeah. It'll come up. I mean, there, there is, uh, well, they did say that actually, the next character is one that's right up your alley. Right up my so, alley. Well, they know uh, me too, my, too well already. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, actually, because it's Jack the, uh, the Giant Hunter, isn't that like uh, Jack and the Beanstalk a bit? I mean, you got Jack. You got Jack. They, they did a remake of Jack in the Beanstalk film, which was called Jack the Giant Killer. Yeah. So I think that's where your mind is going with that. No, just, just pop I'm sure I've slipped tongue many times calling this the Giant Killer. I mean, it's a little bit more brutal than Hunter, yeah. but I kind of like it. So with the piece, you get uh, get the envelope, and in the envelope you get um, a metal card, which again, don't confuse this with what I did last time. I thought I had uh, number, got number one, number yes, one of number one. <laughs> But it means it's uh, the first in the line, second in the line. So this is the yeah. second piece in the line. Uh, within that, you also get... Sorry, we'll get that back in the packet. Good luck with that, man. Yeah, go on a bit see you, see you next Thursday. Yeah. So, yeah, and then in there you get the yard print, which is uh, very high res. So you got that. They're, all their stuff, actually, they share is really good. I love mm. sharing their stuff on Instagram. You get the Certificate of Authenticity, which is signed by um, Hirg Mattel and... Uh, PA La Experience. Experience. So they're there. Sex voice. Again, we're uh, probably butchering these names. A really Always. nice certificate. Um, it's almost like it reminds me of the uh, the scene in uh, American Psycho with the business cards. Yeah, eggshell. Eggshell. <laughs> no, really always, nice always one. like a you know a swimming certificate, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Would you get like ten uh, meter fat <laughs> yards? <laughs> like, the two meter one. Would you just like jump in as far as you can? Uh, and then you also get the assembly guide, which uh, you've got there. And then you also got the two yeah. uh, ways you're meant to display it. Yeah, because technically speaking, a lot. Of, I mean, we have been seeing what's been going on now. There is actually two ways that th this gets displayed. So this is the classic art. This is the original artwork from Pascal Blanchet. Um, and that you get a, like a switch out head and you get like a, a massive blade that also goes on there. They're, they're the two looks. Some people mix them up, but that's not the correct way. You know, who's to say what's wrong or right? But I guess when the guy who creates it says it's wrong, it means it's wrong. So yeah. it's wrong. Um, but really we started here and we'll so get right. everything out and show the, you. The instruction manual was actually done really, really well. It actually reminds me stickers. of like, yeah, 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 when you're a kid. Stickers, and you get man. a little like, uh, the, not instruction manual, but yeah, you get that and then you get the stickers with it to mm. kind of stick throughout the uh, the book, uh, the annual. Normally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. Like we had it with Street Fighter. I'm sure our one was like Street Fighter and you took the like, characters like, like, and stuff. Transformers stuck and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah definitely, never, man. Definitely. They never stuck on properly. But yeah, it reminds me of that. It's really cool, actually. So put them down. Sorry, two interruption. No, that's fine. That's cool. So we're going on, we'll start actually moving on to uh, the piece itself. Um, again, like the Moonstone, it's, a, it's an incredibly artistic piece. So the colours... That you're seeing on it actually uh you know you don't have a massive you know uh, selection of colors which actually in its in its own way is just makes the piece stand out like alex's moonstone in his room really stands out like for so it stands out a, 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 a against some really big colorful pieces because yeah, I mean, and it's strange because there's not so much color in, in, it. in my in my uh, man cave i have probably 45 to uh, sorry, i've got about 45 to 50 pieces in there and uh, the one that uh, my girlfriend always goes up to his moonstone. She absolutely loves it. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's a hot piece. And actually, this is a fantastic um, 
counterpart as well, like mm. a companion piece in terms of like scaling and sizes. We'll try and get them both out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, will. Just cause us loads of work. Yeah, but we'll, we'll get them both out. We'll put them side by side, do a little comparison of them. Anyway, yeah, definitely. Um, good idea. Back on to the star of the show. Yeah. So on the on the piece here, so you basically have the skull of one. Do you say that she uh, she covers all the technology? Yeah, and, I, I mean, I don't know if I mentioned you know, at the start. You, I think that's good that you've mentioned it. She she actually yeah she searches for um like tech like high tech that she's looking for on the planet. And it looks to me like this is one of the giants, obviously one of the tech giants that she has slayed before um, with all the sort of like pipes and wires and sort of the mechanics going into the skull. It's, it's just badass, man. Mm. It's a badass looking thing. When, the, when this arrived, actually, there was a little bit of, uh, I don't even know what it was. It was something like, it looked like paint residue on one of the pipes. Um, literally, I spoke to... Um, Pierre and I said, uh, yeah, Pierre experienced and said, oh, just to let him know that there was a little bit of, uh, you know, something that weren't meant to be there, a bit of a blemish. And he told me he was going to send me a whole new base. And I said, you know, I'm not home at the moment, give me a moment, I'll have a look and see if I can get it off. And he goes, no, no, I'm going to send you a new one, going to send you a new one. I said, look, calm down a little bit, mate. Chill with beans, yeah, bro. Chill, chill down. Relax. Uh, went back, I gave him a little wipe over with like an earbud and stuff, it didn't come off. And I managed to get. Um, uh, like a piece, the rough side of Velcro. Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, I gave it a little wipe over and it came off totally. So I said to him, look, it's fine. But mm. uh, yeah, just I guess say, you're quite lucky that there's there's quite a lot, there's a good elements of um, sort of roughness in, in it so that you can sort of pick it off. Well, the, the Velcros are nice plastic, so it's yeah, not of too rough. But it was kind of, it was no, I mean on the base. Yeah. Because it's no, not smooth. No, no, it's, it's harder to get any sort of glue residue off smooth about yeah, putting well, it was, the Yeah, uh, it was within the actual cabling. So like it was within in yeah. the groove mm. and on there. That's why I used... I can, uh, yeah, I didn't notice it. She's done a good job there. Yeah. Well done. But that's why I used it to get into the groove anyway. But I was just saying about, uh, that's about the kind of customer service side about, you know, without asking any questions, he said, look, it's not, not acceptable. I said in pictures, he goes, not good enough. Uh, the, the companies, the factory should have done a better job. And he was a little upset about it actually. And then when I was kind of like, yeah, yeah. I like I know it shows that you I like them when they get case. pissed, you know. Yeah, I yeah. like it. <laughs> So yeah, then basically, you know, I managed to, to get, give it a little scrub, get off it. It was fine anyway. So. So, so you then you start moving up after the skull. The skull actually is incredibly textured. Like the whole thing actually does feel, you know, almost like a Neanderthal sort of skull, you know. Um, and then when you, you know, it's got that sort of two color scheme thing going on. But it's almost, it feels like night and day, like a shade. Mm. Like this is a shadow going across it and this is the sun hitting yeah, it to go yeah, up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the artistic yeah, yeah. way that it's sort of done makes it look that way. So I don't know what you got on, um, uh, like pitch black or something like that. Exactly. Do you know they're on that planet? Exactly. Yeah. It's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, it's got yeah. that sort of like high beaming. You almost feel the, it's one of these things when you look at this piece, you almost feel the warmth. Yeah. You feel like she's like burning up, hence this like sort of big cape thing over her head, um, over her body. But then you go on to sort of like, skipping too far ahead, you get onto sort of the legs and she's got these sort of like, Punk boots, man, that are the shit. They're yeah. awesome with all these. Because I say you get the cyber dog again. Yeah, the man, it's proper crazy. It looks fantastic. You've got all these sort of like cylinders on them and these buckles and straps. They look wicked, man. Almost as well, even though there's not a, um, a crazy paint element in terms of colors on the boots, you can almost see they're sort of dusty, which is just crazy. Going back to what you were just saying about the light, actually, now seeing it from the back as well, it does really kind of have that effect yeah because you know, the back of it's all shaded like exactly like dark it's like it's there isn't it yeah, the shadow yeah, is yeah. there and the, the sun's it's like that front. spotlight now yeah. <laughs> and then yeah you know you start moving upwards and then I mean she's got like these crazy sort of like octopus pipe things coming out mm. from sort of the front which is just mental i don't know if they're like breathing well, you got the, they the, look like almost like filters and stuff yeah well you got the breathing in. apparatus coming from there going up into the mouth um and then the other side's I'm not quite sure what that side is, yeah. But so, uh, yeah, as you say, it looks like the planet's not kind of habitable, so you, you yeah. kind of can't breathe. Because even on, I oh, actually know, because on the uh, the Japanese head, she's she's got her face uncovered. Yeah. So Jigasa. Yeah. So the uh, yeah, you um, she has like all these filtration sort of like things, or you know, it, I don't. Maybe I mean, let's let's have some fun with it. Maybe she needs special sort of, you know things to breathe. Maybe she was battle like, damaged. Maybe she was hurt like Vader. Well, you just I, don't know. You can play. You can do maybe what you want. That's more, Her origin's maybe, unknown. You can make it up. Maybe that's more when she lands on the planet. She's trying to do, do a recce and then she realises she can breathe and then she goes around in a Japanese yeah, thing. Yeah, gets more stylish. <laughs> gets more stylish <laughs> and a bit more brave of her breathing. Yeah. 
Not the, when they do like Prometheus yeah, and stuff. Exactly, like, exactly. Yeah, we're all right. Take off the masks, everyone. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about any sort of parasitic. Uh, into the box. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about that later. But then you start you, you this um the material thing the actual it does deceive you a little bit off the top because the texturing on the sort of toweling almost like this rag thing that she's got over her head and uh, it's really well done. So yeah. the most of it sort of pipe wise and things like that are kind of smooth. And then it's really heavy texture on yeah. that sort of element, which just looks fantastic. You got the heavy like yeah material it's, it's texture. A good, it's that a good contrast the on, the, on the seams. Yeah, it's a good contrast so, yeah. that. And then you go around the back, and you got her big, massive gun, which Dude, that's a big gun, which gun. would weigh more than her. That's a big gun. <laughs> I mean, imagine that trying to cock that back. Look at that. Yeah, do you reckon she stands <laughs> on it? Do you reckon she's, <laughs> she's like that? <laughs> I mean, like yeah, she's like, like bongo sticking that shit. Yeah. She's like, come on, <laughs> don't run, giant. I'll be there any second. Yeah. She's got one shot. If she misses, and she's gonna have to. Well, she'll that. be dead because this thing will probably fly through her as she's holding it. I mean, that is <laughs> that is the biggest gun. I mean, that that would make Cable jealous. The size of that gun. So there's always uh, elements of this, and then also the other part does remind me like, heavily of like a kind of anime sort of style yeah. of do you know like where like we'll go we'll go into that one afterwards. But with this one, do you know like where um, you expect her to kind of like lift? Do you know when she's about to shoot? Yeah. And she'll kind of throw, the, throw that off. Yeah. And do like that. And then like pull the gun out. Yeah, basically. And you have a huge it. gun underneath there. Yeah, and it's yeah. just like that. And it's massive. And then all of a sudden like, she jumps back and all the fucking lines behind yeah, her. She man, shoots yeah, her. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, it's, bad, it was, yeah. you know, like with um, the Fist of All Star, which yeah. I think it's Shin. Yeah. Where he throws, like, no, Rao. Where Rao well, does, does his cape yeah, yeah. onto uh, Ray. Yeah. And then sort of starts stabbing him. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. I'm with you. I'm with you. I was there. I was with you. Yeah. Okay, so then you're sort of getting into sort of the... We'll go from the top here where the... I mean, fitting-wise, everything goes together lovely. There's no problems with anything. There's no sort of seams or... Mm. It's all very hidden and well-connected, which looks fantastic. Yeah. I'm really, really pleased what, um, walking that, in and seeing it. I was a bit blown away by that's it. That's how it comes. I mean, it, as it comes, it comes as the base, yeah. the body, uh, the head comes off, and then the gun. So that's how it is. I mean, there are, you know, those pieces there. Just making sure it's the hand. I like the goggles as well, man. Yeah. This is a very ap apocalyptic sort of style. Oh, yeah, this yeah, I yeah. kind of dig it. You know, yeah, I do yeah. like uh, Pascal Blanchet's artwork. I think he's done some fantastic stuff, and uh, it's been captured perfectly here again. What we'll do, we'll switch it over, and then we'll show you the other alternative viewing position, <laughs> uh, which is my favourite actually. All right, so we're back, and as you can see, here's the uh, the second pose of the piece. Uh, this is her wearing her jingasa, and uh, yeah, see, I stole that right off you. <laughs> it, is, it is officially um, called that jingasa, which is a wicker um, helmet used in Japan. It's hat, uh, not yeah, a helmet. I said, well, it's it's a hat, but it basically is encamped sort of warriors wore. It actually means that. It's, I think it means encamped, like camped hat. That's what yeah. it means. So yeah, that's the official word that it is. It reminds me yeah, like in like Ninja Squirrel and stuff like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Big trouble in little China. Yeah. Them fucking dudes that fly down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got what they're called. Uh, I just the winds, right. seven winds or some shit. Some scary. Like low pan and yeah. But that's what they're in. It's the yeah, electric yeah. guy and all that. That was wicked. But yeah, this is. I mean, this is the this is the look I actually prefer. I love this is the this is the way I would have it. This mm. is with the that big monstrous ass blade. Um, there's a magnet that's on the back and then basically the where the straps there's two pegs where these straps basically just sit over the top and insert into the pegs and the head sort of um, the neck area which is like again breathing apparatus so she does have a breathing yeah, uh, thing yeah. there um, just sits inside so really well done sits together it's got a magnet on the back of the, the body on the cape and, and the actual um, gun just to keep it in place and little peg yeah, there it's got like a little peg but the peg it's not a peg peg, yeah, it's just like a kind of position. It just sits thing. in. It just sort of, I think yeah. it's added support, weight support really more than anything else. Just engineering. Flip the switch. Yeah. And obviously you can see now what exactly you're getting with it. Other than what's in the envelope, you also get these fantastic um, sort of busts and weapons, um, you know, displays. Mm -hmm. So you've got like the rocks of almost like the world, again, the derelict planet. Uh, bases and then these parts that you can add on the gun you can sort of move how you want it so you can yeah. push it further well, in can pull it further back the, the thing is, is suits uh, you really. with the material that this is made from the um, the strap is yeah, look how like, pliable. A, like a plastic is really really pliable like rubber it's almost uh, like rubber when you set it up I kind of put it onto the stand and it was kind of in the air and I was a bit like oh, yeah, that doesn't look right and then 
over the top, he just flopped over. <laughs> like, just does that. Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting. Jesus, he got back and looked up. Yeah, and he I did that a second face. ago, yeah. But yeah, but, um, this, is the, this is the look, man. The thing is with this as well is you, you switch out uh, the gun from the spear and you switch out the, it's more like a kind of harpoon, almost like with uh, it does look like Moonstone that. almost has a harpoon as well. And um, you then switch out the hat, uh, the head, and they look, they, they change the piece so much. It is, it's a, it's um, a violent with, change. Wicked the, change. With, I've much preferred it. It's much better. Well, with, I like this. With this one, it, it could almost be like a, um, like a teenage boy, and you're kind of like you yeah. know you're not really it's sure. Definitely get more female with this. No, no, I but think. but with this one, but then then with this one, it makes it more feminine. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think it, I, you definitely get a more sort of feminine. Good word. You get a more feminine sort of look because of the profile yeah. of the face. You can see under the mask, she's got quite a nice, you know. I don't want to say jawline because it's masculine, but she's got a nice <laughs> feminine tapered chin yeah. and, and quite luscious lips. Mm. She'd get it. I'd, I've got no issue. She'd get it on the skeleton head. No problem. She's quite fit. She's quite I'm fit. one of the Terminator theme tunes yeah, going on there. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's not. I, I really dig it, man. This is the, the definitely the view I prefer. This is the, mm. And it is quite a, a drastic change. It really well, that's, is. Well, that's what I was getting to. I mean, Do like that. when you swap over the heads and you swap over the guns it does change the piece a lot and it's like it's not like just when you have you know different hairstyle or you have you know just like different facial expression yes. this actually changes the piece totally yeah think, totally you know totally and, uh, and again i mean i do love the way that i mean you say it's simple but whatever else just but uh, just having these little busts to to put the other pieces on i don't know why more companies don't do it well you've got to look at it from another perspective which is one it adds more display like option so you can actually like yeah. have it next to the piece which adds to it. it's like having a mini bus next yeah. to it right all included in the price and two more importantly i don't know about anybody else but i hate taking off complicated pieces and trying to place them somewhere yeah i've got i've got the, the uh, side classic premium. four yeah i've got yeah, a classic yeah, yeah. four at home and, and it, the head has to stay in the box it's the only way the extra head you can keep in one piece. If you take it out with those with the ears and all that, the wings yeah, and the, and the hair, and you and you try and put it, wrap it in finger and put it in a drawer, you'll break it. It'll, yeah. it'll break. So this actually does help you with actually displaying it to a point where it's safe because yeah. you're not going to break it. You know, what I mean, and and things like this where you can see where all the tapered parts of the the um, cloth on the the I don't know what you'd call that sort of um, this. You call it a cloak, maybe be the word cloak or well it's, it's on it's on to here as yeah. well as so the way that cloaking. it sort of curves in you've got this bit that hangs down it's the sort of thing that you'd f wrap up put in a drawer and then you know with all your other heads and things and then probably try and look for once and then you end up pulling out and snapping it forgetting <laughs> it has that thin part there yeah so it does really help you know it, and, it, and it adds as well when you're displaying stuff i mean can you, you put this one and then you you, you put a uh, jack and then you put moonstone next to each other you've got a head each you've got like a weapon thing each it's just yeah. wicked man well, the Moonstone doesn't have a... She, her weapons goes on to the, yeah, the same head thing. base. Yeah, but it's still yeah. got its own display. You know, that it's in there and then the head's on the top and the weapon sort of spikes in. Yeah. That's what happened to me. I looked up and it was like <laughs> right in my face. Well, I looked up and I went cross-eyed because I was staring at that. The point. Yeah. That's quite, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, overly, really uh, massively uh, So impressive. that, um, when you look at the, the, the kind of style from there um, of this face... It almost reminds me of like a, like an eighties album cover. Grace like Jones, there, but maybe yeah. it's Grace Jones. What you're saying? Pull up to the bumper, baby. <laughs> that sort of style just reminds me of something. Yeah, I remember her yeah. cover like it was yesterday. Do you remember yeah. her cover? She's on like one leg and she's got a foot behind her. And she's like in some sort of yoga shit and she's like fucking flexible as hell. It's, I remember when I was a kid. That when she was with Lindgren. Probably was with Dolph Lindgren. Maybe I just remember that. I just remember that album cover. <laughs> I'm too old, man. I was only a kid, though. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying. It definitely has that sort of um, stylistic look. Can I bring the tape measure over here? Yeah, man, I got it. So we check All it. Right. Um, well, that's one of the things with this. Um, is it's a good thing and a bad thing, depending on what you have in mind. Um, but I had a space assigned for this, and it's well too wide for it. Yeah, it's not as, as wide. <laughs> Below man. where I am. That's got to be 20 inches on your best day. That I think is like I think I measured it. And I was just like, "Dang, damn it!" Right, it's like sixty up. something. I'll, me I'll have a little measure. All right, so height. Let's have a look. So sixteen, just as advertised. Sixteen inches, forty-one centimeters. Yep. 
And then depth wise, you pretty much have the longest point of the base the, to the back of it. So no more than 12, 13 inches. I, we'll give it 13, just to be on the safe side and say it's about 32, 33. It's probably less. You'll be generous there. I'm generous. It could be 12, yeah. to be honest. But you, you've got to be safe, really. And then... <laughs> All right, let's... <laughs> you better take that. Go on, you got it? Yeah, yeah. Wow, is that at the top for you? Dude, uh, that is 60 yeah. centimetres, man. That's 23 and a half wide. <laughs> <laughs> that is monstrous, man. That's Electro. That's XM Electro. <laughs> that thing there. Yeah, you I might mean, be, you might be no, I understand why people are switching that shit up and using the gun, probably displaying this like that. Yeah, I mean But the, it still uh, would be hard to display this thing in, in in a standard unit. Well the one I had assigned for it was quite narrow. Yeah. You know, Moonstone right. does fit in there perfectly. She fit in there like she's made for that cabinet. Mm. And I thought, oh, right, won't be too bad then. <sighs> yeah. So what we do, uh, you didn't even show the box. Yeah. This is the box. This is a part of the box. You get this amazing. Um, very, you know, again, nice gloss sort of colourful box. And the colours on the box, like on the moon, so I actually match yeah. the piece that you're getting, which I really love. High dense, thick really box. There's only one half of it. You get another half, so. Yeah, there is. So I mean, there's... crazy, crazy details, really. They, I mean, I it just, do you know what it is? It loft. really feels... It, they, they've got the premium feel just right, I think. No, it's especially, I mean, like, uh, you know, you've got... Prince. Uh, the good. Prince, you've got the, the metal card... Uh, you've got the certificate, you've got the box, you've got the artwork on the box, you've got the switch out heads, you know, so, you know. It's, it's almost like it was made by someone who collects this. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how I would feel. Well, if I was is, doing a piece myself, if I was is, like, is, I'm going to make actually, one, this is exactly uh, how I would try and do it. This is getting a lot of um, uh, attention outside of kind of statue collecting. I bet more, it is, yeah. Uh, within the kind of um, art, art uh, community. designer toy sort of side of things. To get more of it there, and then also they've just had also congratulations to House of God because they just had um, Moonstone, one of a kind Moonstone, put in um, a gallery exhibition in uh, New York. I can completely and, get uh, it. It's basically she's uh, she's on the she's globe. On, she's standing on the globe. It. It's amazing. It, that's the yeah, I've seen that. I'll try and add an image. Yeah, that's a beautiful. Thing. That's a beautiful one. But uh, what we do then? It's is, the same statue, but she's like the, yeah, the, yeah. it's like that in the, underneath her. What we do there is we'll stop there. We'll get the Moonstone, Moonstone out. Damn it. And uh, we'll, we'll have a little line up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll have a little line up. And they go like, they go again. All right, so we're back. And um, yeah, so here's the two together. Here is the Epic. Moonstone and Epic. the pieces you get with her. And then here is the Jack, the giant hunter over there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, not the prince and things. So this is just to give you an idea of what the pieces look like together. And they look fucking epic. They look great. I mean, um, one of the things as well... Was, Changes everything though, doesn't it? Well, one of the things is as um, as we were off camera, I was saying, you know what? Moonstone is going to be like, so much bad, so she looks bad, so everything. But when you put the two together, the contrast between the two, they, they look fantastic. They make each other. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. It's like Anti-Venom from Prime 1 on its own. It looks shit. Put next to XM Venom. What, so it looks shit on its own? No, I, what I'm saying is, is that, you, you know, together they sort of make each other look better. Yeah. Because, because the fact there's only like maybe three or four colours in this, max. Maybe, you know, you said orange, the grey, then the, the turquoise green. Is that, would you say, oh, teal? Would you say that? teal maybe? Yeah. It's a hard one. Yeah. So maybe, and a little bit of work in the, the orange of shading. So probably three colours, maybe th just three. And then that has three colours as well, which is the green, the blue with some shading, maybe with the purple. So three or four colours each, no more. Mm. You know what I mean? You're basically, what you're saying there, you know, is it's crazy because they sort of become more alive. Yeah. You know, it, it works really well together. I'm really glad that we got them out actually to show them because they look amazing. No, I think it was, uh, well, I mean, got them, even though it was a bit of a pain in the ass to get out of that cupboard. Um, worth it. It's going to be totally even more it. fun to get back in. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but it, yeah, I mean, we've gone both, so I might as well get them, get them both out and show people what they look like together. This is how you'd want to display them, didn't you? I mean, it's a real, it's a real beautiful set. Real, I can see why, you know what I mean, Moonstone gets such prey. I mean, she's magnificent. It's a magnificent mm. piece. It's got a little, like, it's got a little bit more of um, detail in terms of, like, spikes and, like, elements to the base and things you know this has got more of a smoother sort of look and that's got more of a jagged spot i mean they yeah. just complement each other really well 
Sh- one Sh- looks Sh- a bit more, you know what I mean, sharp. And the other one looks a little bit more solid. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm reading uh, Moonstone's pretty sexy too. Yeah, she's fantastic. <laughs> but together they look fantastic, really nice. I think, I think you know, it's a massive achievement from the company to do these two pieces. I think, I mean... Uh, That's they, an original they, they art some well, great which work. is just amazing. Um, yeah, the, um, to continue from the, the line, I mean, this is uh, Pascal Blanchet's from... Um, Oh, fuck, I should have got a comic out. Heavy Metal. The Heavy Metal comic. Which Magazine. I just got. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, Heavy Metal. And then um, to then continue the line on to uh, to make it you know more original. So, yeah, it's done, done a fantastic job. Fantastic. Yeah, man. Looks great together as well. So, when they get a nice big, you need to get another modular case and put all these lot what light in there. It would look great in them. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Especially if you've got like a dark well, that's, display. That's if you've got a dark is, display, this is like, well, you like black. The, the, you have like black or... The module case I have yeah. is the same um, this table. depth and width as this table. I have. It looked it. Yeah. So then you, you, you sort of see what you're getting here. You can display these two. You may be able to get a third in, well, to be honest. I think I've been told the third one's quite big. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. You've done well, Lord Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Um, All right, man. Well, thanks for, for joining us. Let us know what you think about the pieces. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're, uh, if you're following us on YouTube, hit the bell and then become part of our notification squad. If you're on Facebook and you're looking for a cool collector's group to get into, join us on radtitanstatuecollecting.com. And uh, obviously, if you're on Instagram, you can find us at rad underscore titan. And uh, join us there. Follow us there where all these pictures and maybe some short videos will go up. And uh, thanks for being with us. Peace. Peace. I do like the Raiden head and the bladed version. It's pretty what do cool. they call a hat? You should look up that. Doesn't That'd be say. quite good. No, Doesn't. no, no. Just in general, just like in the Japanese terms. That'd be quite a good one for it. Yeah, definitely. What is it called? Like Raiden hat? It's just like Japanese inspired lampshade hat. <laughs> <laughs>